All right, so we're going to look at the combustion of TNT and use it as a balancing example. So here's the reaction. First thing you want to do is look for elements that are present in one reactant species and only one product species. For example, carbon. It's present only in the TNT molecule on the reactant side, and it's present only in the carbon dioxide molecule on the product side. You have seven atoms in the TNT, so that's enough to make seven carbon dioxide molecules. The next step is to look for elements that are present in one of the species that you just worked with and only in one other species. For example, hydrogen. It's present only in the TNT and it's present only in water here on the product side. So we have five hydrogen atoms coming in from the TNT molecule. We need two for each water molecule. So that's enough to make five water molecules. And remember, at this point, the fractional coefficients are OK. Another element like that is nitrogen. Uh, it's present only in a TNT, again. And there are three atoms of it. And that means that we have enough to make three halves of the N2 molecules. Now, at this stage, we have the carbon balanced, the hydrogen balanced, and the nitrogen balanced. And we have only oxygen to deal with. And this is what makes this a very, shall we say, special example. Remember, the last rule, or one of the last rules, was when you have elements that are present in their uh, free form, which is the elements by themselves or in a compound that only has that element in it, like O2, save those for last because you can change the number of atoms of that element without changing anything else, which in this case is all balanced. So let's see how many oxygen atoms we need on the product side. Now, we need five halves oxygen atoms for the water molecules. And we need 7 times 2, or 14 molecules of 14 atoms of oxygen for the carbon dioxide molecules. But I'm going to write that 14 as 28 halves for now. So to balance this, we need a total of 33 halves oxygen atoms on the product, on the reactant side. Now, we already have some oxygen atoms in the TNT molecule. Now, we don't want to change the coefficient in front of the TNT molecule because that's going to mess up the carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen balance. So I'm just going to take out those six. And again, I'm going to write that six as 12 halves, which means the O2 molecules have to supply us with a total of 21 halves oxygen atoms. Now. How many oxygen molecules do we need for that? Well, you can use dimensional analysis if, you, uh, if it doesn't come to you right away. We need 21 halves oxygen atoms. oxygen molecule supplies two oxygen atoms, which means we will need a total of 21 fourths O2 molecules. And since we're using fractional coefficients at this point anyway, let's just write that as it is, 21 over 4. Now, the last step is to multiplied through by a constant factor that, that turns us into the smallest set of whole number coefficients. In this case, that factor would be 4. And that should balance this equation. So we are going to have 4 TNT molecules and 21 oxygen molecules. That's going to give us 7 times 4, or 28 CO2 molecules, 10 water molecules, and 6 nitrogen molecules. And we're balanced.